Suddenly, Iran is no longer one of this country's strongest and most dependable allies in the strategic Persian Gulf area. The autocratic Shah was replaced by the Ayatollah Khomeini, who adopted an anti-American stance. This produced tremendous panic in Washington because there were no proxies left to defend the oil. Mr. President, the Persian Gulf is one of the great mineral treasures of the whole world. Um, most of Japan's oil and an awful lot of Europe's oil passes through there. The Shah really was, was the policeman of the Gulf and kept the oil flowing. Now, the new civilian government says it's not going to be the policeman of the Gulf anymore. <coughs> What's going to happen to this terribly, terribly important part of the world if, if there is no policeman? And so it was decided that the United States would have to take up this role itself and not rely any longer on surrogates to protect American interests in the Persian Gulf region. Let our position be absolutely clear. An attempt by any outside force to gain control of the Persian Gulf region will be regarded as an assault on the vital interest of the United States of America. And such an assault will be repelled by any means necessary, including military force. This was a radical step because for the first time it said explicitly that the protection of Middle Eastern oil was a vital national security interest of the United States. Now the problem is at the time, the United States didn't have any forces that were specifically earmarked for operations in the Persian Gulf area. And so Carter created the Rapid Deployment Joint Task Force to act as an interim force. In the past, we've not had an adequate military presence in that region. Now we have two major carrier task forces. We have access to facilities in five different areas of that region. And we've made it clear that working with our allies and others, that we are prepared to address any foreseeable eventuality which might interrupt commerce with that crucial area of the world. This, I believe, has assured that our interests will be protected in the Persian Gulf region, as we've done in the Middle East and throughout the world. And this became the nucleus for the Central Command.